All right, my friends, how are you today? Hopefully everyone has been enjoying this beautiful eclipse energy. Aaron here bringing your daily horoscope for Tuesday the 15th of December 2020. Halfway through the last month of the year here. Um, also, before I get into the astrology, I want to share with you that on Tuesday, uh, this Tuesday the 15th at 6.30 p.m., I'll be doing a live uh, sound bath, sound healing. I've been doing them every Tuesday, and I haven't been sharing it here with you, so letting you know, uh, every Tuesday now I've been doing a live sound bath, uh, singing bowls, drum shakers, all kinds of fun things, very relaxing, very peaceful. So if you feel like joining me, I'm going to put the link uh, in the description box below. Okay, so now we've had this beautiful eclipse on Monday, right? Um, and now we, we're concluding some things here. We're wrapping up some things as we're going to begin a new journey. All right, the moon's moving into Capricorn, focused on getting things done. Uh, this is this is it's taking the emotion out and getting to business in a certain sense, right? Now, it's not going to be today, but the the moon's going to make a conjunction with with uh, Jupiter and Pluto, or Jupiter and Cap uh, Saturn in Capricorn here, you know, for the last time, because Jupiter and, and Saturn are both going to be moving out of Capricorn into the sign of Aquarius, where they're going to be, you know, for two and a half years and a, 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 for Saturn and a year for Jupiter. And so this is the very last time that we have this emotional pull of saying, stop being so emotional and focus on, on the work that needs to be done, you know, and, and, and we, we all co-create that experience at times where we're so emotional, we're so involved in ourselves, in our, our feelings, um, that, that we make it impossible to take the step, you know, to take the step toward action or completion of something. And that's a huge aspect of Capricorn um, and Saturnian is bringing things to completion, a finalization, right? So it's like that 90%, you know, it's like once we get to the 90%, that last 10% of a project is usually the most challenging and most difficult to wrap it up and like finalize that to push the product out or whatever it may be, you know, and we have both Jupiter and Saturn here at the 29th degree of Capricorn. Okay, so this is the critical degree, you know, making critical decisions within our lives because this energy is about to end here in the next couple of days, this week, right? So it's like when we, when we know, and, and this is why sometimes when I, when I talk about this, when we have these critical things, it's like how do we choose to go about this? You know, when, when it's like, okay, the sun's going to go down today at 5 p.m. How much time? You know, I have X amount of daylight. This is a finite number before I don't get today's sun anymore. I, I get tomorrow's sun, but it might rain, it might snow, whatever. You know, so it's like I get this moment now. You know, so how do I choose to take this moment now? You know, and that's part of the lessons here. Capricorn, Saturn is all about lessons. And now we have Jupiter and Saturn. Th this is a conjunction. This isn't the conjunction, you know, when they're exact by the space minute. You know what I mean? They're going to be at zero degrees of Aquarius. But nonetheless... You know, we have two major planets, and you can see these two in the sky every single day, and it's so cool, you know, to look up and see them. Uh, but this critical degree here, this is a conjunction. They're both at 29 degrees, regardless of the, you know, they'll be exact in, in, in what, five, five and a half days. <laughs> but uh, we only get this once, you know. This is a, a critical way of how do we how do we govern ourselves? How are we governing our lives? How are we taking things? You know, life isn't always super serious, but at the same time, it's like, you know, um, how do we step up to the challenge? This is this is uh, 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 in an aspect, you know, uh, of like the. Let's say you're the 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 president of your company, president of the world, whatever it may be, you know, it's just like, that's, but, but, you know, president of the world, sure, let's just go with that. And you have your council, world council, you know, and, and, and here, this 29th degree of Saturn, or 29th degree of Capricorn, you know, dealing with government, not only how we you know, govern ourselves, but how we govern the world. And this is like the, the, this, this, this committee, you know, this group uh, 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 that have been chosen to be in this place. It's like you've been chosen to be in this place to make the decisions that are going to affect everybody's life. You know, it's just like if there are higher powers up that are saying, hey, we're done with digital, we're done with, you know, um, paper money, we're going digital. It's like, okay, we, if, if a handful of individuals have made that decision, 
those individuals have to understand that's going to affect everyone in the world. Okay, and there's reasons why those individuals have made that decision, and now we're all you know experiencing that wave of, of that decision. Okay, so this 29th degree of, of Capricorn, uh, where Saturn and Jupiter are both occupying right now, is that critical decision making stuff. Okay, so it's like we have this week, and, and, and you know Aquarius is about the future. Right? So, so we're talking about the physical reality right now, this physical reality, this moment, this now, you know. How are we going to live and choose in this now? Because we're going to be focused on the future here by the end of the week, you know, when, when, when everything moves into Aquarius. So what are the decisions are we making right now that are, that, um, that are going to affect us for the future? What, what can we put into place now that will, you know what I'm saying? So although the moon isn't quite conjunct Yet, I'm bringing this up because this is going to be the theme for the next, you know, two days. As this is the very last time, you know, this is like, this is the last sunset. <laughs> the last sunset of 2020, we'll never get it back again. You know, this is the last uh, time that, that the moon is in this space with Pluto and Saturn and Jupiter all at the same time. We'll never have that energy again uh, for the rest of our lives. You know, so it's kind of recognizing, can we shelf those emotions in a sense and get to the work? You know, we've had this beautiful sense of release here on Monday with, with uh, uh, the eclipse. And, and, and the moon is con continuing helping out with that by saying, let's continue focus on the work. You know, not the feeling that the change is difficult, but the process of doing it. Okay. And the other cool thing is going on here is, is Venus has moved from 29 degrees of Scorpio to zero degrees. Of Sagittarius okay and if we remember the 29 degrees of Scorpio is you know here we're being in the awe of, of what the collective can do here we're learning you know we've learned the ins and outs of this big grand system okay and we're we've learned how to you know not cheat it but play within the lines to, to um, be a creative within that field and now this is an interesting space for Venus to be, as it's, a, it's a, almost a, a place of reminiscing about challenging times, <laughs> okay? You know, and it's just like, we're, we're there, you know, we're, we're, Jupiter's at the end of Capricorn, its least favorite place to be in the Zodiac, you know, it visits there once every 12 years. And our planet of expansion is pinched by Saturn, you know, and, and, and the feeling of Capricorn of, of limitedness, you know, so it's just like we have this sense uh, of being able to to uh, release and, and be uh, relieved and almost kind of laugh like 2020. What did you know? What did it what a year? You know, we're almost able to, to laugh and reminisce about something so recent and relevant. That's like, wow, we learned a lot. We grew a ton when we were forced to, to be limited. You know, so we can look back right now and look at our growth and, and find an appreciation for the shadow period that, you know, it's like where the shadow period has ended. You know, the eclipse, Venus moving out of uh, uh, Scorpio, it's like this is, you know, this is over. The last bit of shadow that we have here is is going to is going to end the year. You know, when when Mars moves out into Taurus. OK, we're done with all the shadow this year. But really, Venus moving out of Scorpio is is one, you know, one of the final finishing touches. And it's just like, look at all this growth. Look at all that we've accomplished. Look at what we've made it through. We have learned as a as a species here on this planet, floating through the sky. You know what I mean? Just, just floating through space. That we had a, a a virus, and some people believe it. Some people don't. I know some people have commented on this channel about it not being real. We've we've you know at this point, I think we've all had someone that's that's caught this virus or not but like we've we've learned how to deal with the new pandemic we've learned how to deal with things you know we've we've come through so much during this time we've we've learned what it's like to sit with ourselves in solitarity and be alone <laughs> and, and and let's you know uh crawling crawling up and out of our own you know that shadow self into this light which again this eclipse has brought a huge sense of relief and joy of hopefully we're feeling that and now we're going to continue this work and we get to like look back and laugh at it you know like wow we did it way to go team high fives <laughs> All right, my friends. So that is our Tuesday. Again, if you're interested in coming out to the, the uh, sound bath, it's on Zoom, so you don't have to come out. You can do it right from home and wear your headphones. And I'll put a link in the description box below. 
Appreciate you. I love you. I wish you enough. And we'll see you maybe live at the Sound Bath tonight.